So, okay, so Mike King. Yes. I know that you are very into dreams, pursuing dreams. Crazy for Okay, that. good. So what is, um, tell us, share us one of your child, childhood dreams. Wow, that rolls back a bit, one of my childhood dreams. I can remember one day I was down the bush, right, and I was just down, I had my push bike, or maybe I was just walking in the bush. The next thing you know, this guy comes riding down the track on a motorbike, and it was like a, a YZ80 motorbike. It looked super cool, looked like, and he's just like, so chilled out going through the, I think it was a, an RM80, it was a yellow one. And I was probably about 10 years old at the time. And that was it, I just fell in love with a motorbike. I had to get a motorbike. And I started just like, I wanted to get a bike, I want to race, I want to feel that speed, just like jumping and stuff like that. And I just started working on it. And I just worked on my mum and dad and my dad like, non-stop and I never ever dropped my decision that I was going to get one. I never ever got pushed down or squashed about it or discouraged about it. I just continually just call my dad, hey dad, let's go to the bike shop. Come and let's have a look at it. We'll just check out the bike and we went we went to the shop and he'd actually leave me at the bike shop and I'd just be sitting on the bike and just like envisioning this thing, you know. So I just worked on him so hard and consistently but I never ever got angry at him or impatient or whatever and just just kept really encouraging about this getting a motorbike deal. We closed the deal. Eventually, Dad gave in and we started, we got our first bike and then we got our second bike and we started racing. And then when the new season came up, we had to get the brand new motorbikes. And then when the, the next season came up, we didn't just get the brand new motorbikes, we got the brand new motorbikes in the crate, unpacked straight off the ship, the first ones in the city. That was super exciting. We got them, put them together, ran them in and started racing. And that was the season when I won the A-grade championship for Lake Macquarie. It was like king of the mountain that weekend. That, that year, I was king of the mountain there. And the, the point really, what I'm trying to say is that mum and dad, they weren't rich, they weren't you know, they didn't act like they didn't spoil us or anything like that, but they really saw that there was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to race the bikes and I took full responsibility for them and did the maintenance on them, kept them clean, just really practiced and everything and, and really treated it as a profession. And through that became became a champion motocross rider when I was like 13 years old, something like that, you know. That's and pretty it, cool. It was a good chapter. It was a good chapter in my life. We had we had a lot of fun just jumping and bush riding and stuff like that. But it's interesting that you, you that your dream is to want to have a bike. And eventually, how many bikes you got? Every year we get a new bike after Here we go. We've got like a few seasons of bikes, you know. So, then, so it looks like dream breathe dreams. Breathe, <laughs> breathe dreams. Or dream breathe dream dreams. Breathe dreams. <laughs> No, that's breathe. Breathe. <laughs> dreams, breathe, 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 dreams. Breathe, dreams. That's exactly right. Right? You start rolling along that line and you start... And the dreams will keep rolling, right? Yeah. yeah. And you sort of got no idea. So how did you get there? How did you afford to do that? It does happen. You get the dream, you get the first step, and it breathes the dream. Yeah. Wow. That's like, that's heavy, man. That's pretty cool. Dreams, breathe, dreams. Nothing is more important than your dreams, right? Start with one dream. Exactly. That's it. That's it. That this was day nine. This is day nine for for the ten day challenge. Day nine was pretty chilled out. Friday, and everyone in the company I've noticed. If you everyone in the company, everyone's real. There was no noise at all. So everyone's just producing, getting things done, getting their job done. We're like really like a, a connected group of guys, and I haven't sort of felt a company like this before. Really, it's always been a bit of a drama or stress somewhere and today it's like it's all everyone's like really pushed forward for the future it's amazing i think this is because of the 10 day challenge i'm talking forcing myself to talk nine days straight now let's see what happens tomorrow cool <laughs> <laughs>